Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. Um, I wanted to take several minutes to uh, to come to you and to be able to share with you uh, our, our internet solution that we have been successfully using for the last year or so. Um, it's worked really, really well. Um, we've been able to uh, travel different parts of the country with the internet and I wanna just try and explain it to you, share it with you as much as possible as I can today. I, I'm, I may not remember everything, but I'm gonna try to uh, share as much as I can with you. As you know, uh, the day and age we live in, uh, many of us, we need internet. Some of us are working on the road. I work on the road. Um, but even if you're just away for a weekend, you wanna be able to surf, you wanna be able to get on Netflix or whatever it might be. And so internet has become an important part uh, of our daily lives. And so there's a lot of different solutions out there. There's a lot of different things that people have tried. Uh, some have worked, some haven't worked, some have been phased out. You can't even do them anymore. Uh, but we've been doing this solution for the last year. We learned about it right here on YouTube. And uh, the gentleman that that, that uh, really kind of turned me on to it and told me about it, and I've actually communicated with him back and forth several times, asking him questions, just technical stuff. Uh, I'm going to link link his uh, his uh, his video in the description down below. A lot of the technical stuff that he understands that I don't understand, and I only understand it enough to be able to get it going. Um, but uh, he does a great job, excellent job explaining it uh, to you. And so I'm going to link that video in the description. Click on that, check it out, uh, and you'll learn a lot from that. But um, uh, just the, the you know it, when, when you're tra traveling in your campgrounds, your RV parks. The, uh, the, the, the internet is real spotty. Uh, you can't trust it. It's not secure either. Uh, you gotta think about that th these days. Uh, we use a VPN uh, for our uh, internet and uh, that's gonna slow things down along the way. So, you know, that, that even kind of hinders you a little bit, but it's worth it for the security. And so, uh, you know, I'm not saying that this campground, you know, got something uh, fraudulent going on or this one over there, things like that. I don't know, but all I know is that you, we need to be as safe as we can. And we need to take security uh, uh, seriously. And so I don't like to get on uh, the uh, the campgrounds Wi-Fi. Uh, and a lot of times, I, when I when I first started traveling, I, I realized it's not real it's not real uh, dependable. Anyways, it's real weak. And so, especially if there's going to be a lot of campers there over Memorial Day weekend or Fourth of July weekend, um, you're not going to be able to get a good signal. So I want to show you real quick what we what we're doing. Uh, we actually keep it back here. You can kind of see it hidden behind the, the plant thing here. I'm going to move this out of the way and show you. This is the MoFi 4500. It's a 4G LTE router um, that, that sends a signal out uh, through the RV. Uh, actually, it'll send it out quite a, quite a ways uh, if nearby campers will easily be able to pick up the signal here. But uh, these, these different antennas you see right here um, are the ones that pick up the signal. Now we have a SIM card in here. I'm going to show you as much as I can uh, about this, but these bigger paddle um, antennas are the ones that pick up the signal. It's dusty. Yeah, it's dusty. It's been sitting. <laughs> but uh, they pick up the signal uh, from the cell tower. So, and they're fully adjustable. I'll, I'll pick this up here and you can adjust them how you want. I would think this is probably the best, the best way to do it. It's a good fan that way. Um, but you see we're getting internet here very successfully, no problem. These different antennas here, they send out the signal throughout the, the coach. And, um, and you can move them around, but our coach is 40 foot long and um, we don't have any problem at all uh, way in the back of the RV with, with this working right here. Now, um, once again, the technical stuff with this, please check out the link below. Um, he's very, very good, very excellent with, um, with his information. This right here is a USB port. You can actually plug in a, uh, a USB drive here and use this, use that drive as, um, as kind of a, a share file uh, a storage, or you can save pictures, you can save files there, you can put files here and then somebody else on the network can come and get those files there. So um, we're turning it around now and um, I'm showing you the back there. You can actually plug in, um, with uh, with your other cables, your Ethernet cables, to get a little stronger signal, um, you won't use that at all. And uh, I'm not gonna. I'll show you the side here. This is where the uh, the SIM card is. And right now, I'm just gonna set it down. Right now, we are we're using a uh, a Verizon uh, a SIM card in there. Now. You, you, you cannot just go to Verizon or, or take your Verizon phone and take the SIM card out and stick it in here. 
the the router reads it differently than what a phone so when you when you're when you're on your phone the signal is being sent out differently to where um it the, the 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 data is is being used differently compared to what a router would so you can't just take a a cell phone take the sim out stick it in here and expect it to work for data that's not gonna that's not gonna work uh you actually need to have a special sim card that is for data only so if you had a verizon plan let's say you've got two three phones on your plan you go to verizon and you get another sim card for an ipad you're adding a line to your verizon plan so it the that could be $15, $20 a month to add an iPad to your plan. And uh, you just take, the, but then you, you, you take that SIM card home and you take that, instead of putting it in your, your iPad, you just put it in here. Because all an iPad is gonna do is get data. You can't make a phone call with an iPad. Um, and I, I know you can do FaceTime and all that, but, but it's all data still. So an iPad uh, will just stream data and that's what this does here too. It also does data, but it broadcasts it throughout the RV. So uh, we started off about a year ago. One year ago, we, we, we got this and we started experimenting with it and with AT and T, uh, and and everything worked great. Everything worked wonderful. We uh, I, I bought a SIM card uh, just uh, uh, from Walmart. I think I paid five bucks for it and activated it. Stuck it in here. And it worked great. Once again, there's technical stuff you got to do on your computer, um, and look at the link it's down like below. A hack, isn't That'll it? really help you. It's not a, not really a hack, but uh, out of the box though, this is ready to to work with a SIM card with a data SIM card. Uh, other routers and different things like this are, are not set up to do that. So that's what makes the the Mofi 4500 uh, LTE router a special router. So. We worked uh, probably for four to five months uh, on the AT&T uh, SIM card. No problems, no problems at all. Then we were back home for the summer and we weren't using it at all. When I went to turn it back on in September, I believe, uh, the, it wasn't working anymore. And I, I started doing some research, found out that AT&T quit uh, allowing uh, uh, this, this type of router to be working with their system. So AT&T somehow had learned about it. I mean, uh, really, we're getting a lot of data out of here. Uh, most data plans are, are giving you 10, 15, 20 gigabytes uh, a month, like for an iPad. Um, but then they begin to throttle you. But this year, uh, it it just it lets you continue going it, because it looks at it as a, as its data, not it, it's it's kind of streaming data, like you would if you're watching Netflix or what do Hulu we pay? or something like that. Uh, so the different plans, you know, different companies are different plans. But right now with Verizon, we have a Verizon um, uh, SIM in here. That costs $15 a month. So if you have a Verizon plan, you can go get a SIM card, put it in here, go through the technical stuff on the computer, and you'll be paying $15 a month because the way Verizon looks at it is that you you just have an iPad that's running a lot of data. Uh, last month, we ran 200 gigabytes of data out of this uh, this router. We stream. And we stream yeah. Netflix, we stream Hulu, we stream YouTube. Uh, stream, uh, YouTube. Um, well, okay. I have a computer. My wife has an uh, iPad. Uh, we have our iPhones. Uh, oh, so we're doing TVs. a lot of stream. We have, we have, yeah, smart TV here, smart TV in the bedroom. And so we're doing a lot of data and it's, and, it, and we're uploading too. We're uploading things. So both, both ways you're getting good. good. So it's been very successful for us. Um, and you know what I'm going to do is at the very end of this video, I'm going to, uh, post a picture, just a screenshot of, uh, of the data that we've actually used kind of an average. Uh, over a month's time, I've been about 200 gigabytes, and I think it might be even a picture of three months. So uh, check that out at the very end. But this has worked out very good. If you have any questions, I'll try and do the best I can to answer them. Um, once again, the other video in the description, uh, I know he'll do, he, he does very, very well at communicating also. Uh, you can ask him some of the technical stuff. We don't use any other external uh, uh, antennas. I know other people have put antennas up on their, their RV to get a better signal like a Yagi antenna, and that would do very well. Where these were just, these were just, um, actually these ones, these paddle ones would actually unscrew and you'd run a, co a, a coaxial cable up to the antenna. But um, something that I'm gonna be looking into, this is something that I don't think anybody else has done yet, is um, the WineGuard uh, 360 Air um, unit up on the the the, uh, the roof of this RV. It's a, this is a 2021 Solitude 380 FLR, and that antenna works very very well for the TV. You turn you, you turn the TV on, you, you scan for channels. It'll scan 50 miles to get uh, a good signal, 
And I'm, I'm gonna try and tap into that. So stay tuned, I might have another video about that soon. Um, I appreciate you watching, thank you so much. And once again, if you have any questions, uh, just send me a quick comment. I'll try and do the best I can to answer them for you. Uh, but we appreciate you very much. Please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna work on trying to get videos out every week, a couple, two, three a week. Um, and, and we've got some more exciting things coming up right now. Um, so thank you very much. Once again, hit that bell icon. You'll be notified when we put a new video on. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye-bye.